The Vice Chief of Indian Army was briefed on T-90 Mark III, that has reportedly been upgraded with active protection system and anti-drone system. Indian firms have offered their state-of-the-art weapon platforms armored vehicles naval vessels and counter-drone systems to Sri Lanka, and also establishing an ammunition plant in Sri Lanka. Tejas Aircraft and Airbus C-295 transport aircraft carried out their maiden operations from an emergency landing field in the western sector. Hindustan Shipyard has terminated all arrangements with Turkish firms for the Five Fleet Support Ships program, and they feature a completely indigenous design, with sourcing of the majority of the equipment from indigenous manufacturers. Tree Shakti Corps of the Indian Army conducted a training exercise, involving the firing of anti-tank guided missiles on moving as well as static targets at a super high altitude area of 17,000 feet in Sikkim. Bharat Electronics Limited has unveiled a solar-powered unmanned surface vehicle, designed for hydrographic surveying and coastal surveillance, and it could be customized for kamikaze applications. Australia and India are forging a closer partnership in the crucial area of underwater surveillance, to track submarine movements underwater mines and other potential threats. The Indian Navy has successfully completed the maiden landing gear replacement of a P-8I aircraft in just six days at INS Rajli. The Defence Ministry has issued a tender to Hindustan Aeronautics for purchasing 97 more Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets with more than 65% indigenous content, in a deal worth over 65,000 crore rupees, and HAL has been given three months to respond to the tender. This is said to be the largest order for indigenous military hardware to be placed by the Indian government ever. The Indian Air Force has embarked on a journey to source some components locally for its Rafale fighter jets and Chinook helicopter, and a meeting of the Society of Indian Defence Manufacturers is scheduled with the Indian Air Force next month. The Air Force has provided a list of 52 parts of Rafale and 27 parts of Chinook, that it can source from the Indian industry. Industry sources have said, that the TED-BF will be more affordable to operate and maintain compared to a potential naval variant of AMCA. Aeronautical Development Agency has estimated that operating the naval AMCA could be 30% more expensive as compared to the Air Force's AMCA, due to the unique demands of carrier operations, as frequent deck landings could damage the naval AMCA's stealth coatings, leading to a higher need for inspections and repairs, that could result in only 22 mission-ready aircraft on a 45-unit aircraft carrier. The vulnerability of towed artillery in Ukraine has led some former Indian Army officials to advocate for a full transition to mounted gun systems. However, internal studies conducted by the Indian Army have concluded that mounted gun systems are more vulnerable due to their larger size and ease of detection, while towed guns have a smaller footprint and can be easily hidden, and are also 30% cheaper than mounted gun system. Today's top 3 comments.